He makes you in the wombs of your mothers, in stages, one after another, in three veils of darkness. Such is Allah, your Lord and Cherisher. To Him belongs all dominion. There is no God but He. Then how are ye turned away from your true center? The Quran points out to the three dark stages of the baby in the womb with this verse and states that man is created in the womb with the three-phased creation. The Arabic expression, fi zulamatin silasin, which is translated into English as in three veils of darkness, indicates the three dark phases of the embryo during its development. The order of these phases is as follows. 1. The darkness of the anterior abdominal wall. 2. The darkness of the uterine wall. 3. The darkness of amniochorionic membrane. As it is seen, the modern biology of today has shown that the embryological development of babies takes place in three different dark phases as it is informed in the verse. The developments in the area of embryology have proved that these parts are made up of three segments. Moreover, in the verse, it is indicated that man comes into existence in three separate stages, which differentiate from one another. In fact, modern biology of today has shown that the embryological developments of the baby in the womb takes place in three different phases. This subject, which exists in all course books of embryology of the Faculty of Medicine, is among the rudiments. For example, this fact is explained as follows in the source called Basic Human Embryology, which is one of the basic reference books on embryology. Life in the uterus has three stages. One, pre-embryonic stage, first two and a half weeks. Two, the embryonic stage, up to the end of the eighth week. And three, the fetal stage, from the eighth week to birth. These stages include different development stages of the baby. The information which is about the development of the baby in the womb can only be acquired by observations made with modern technological equipment. However, as it is seen, attention has been drawn to this information miraculously in the verses of the Quran, just like many other scientific facts. It is a proof that the Quran is the word of Allah, since there is so much detailed and true information within the Quran, sent down at a time when humanity did not have any detailed information on the subject of medicine.